right back to it. Moving on from Overwatch, we've got C-Val top eight action. We're going to have the Saints starting off here on Split up against Rochester University. I'm Fundy back on the mic, joined by Ryan Sheehan, our, uh, our unsung hero of the background. You know, you barely <laughs> get to hear him on mic, but here he is. I dragged you on for this Valorant yep, game. We're, we're back again. Uh, last time was my first league broadcast. Uh, bit of an in it was a start. It was a start. But, Listen, yeah. you picked a an interesting game to, to have your uh, yep. your first league cast on. But they were moving on, ones. you know, moving on to the other riot title here. C Val top eight. I mean, it doesn't get any tighter than this. If I'm not mistaken, too, the C Val bracket is single elim. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So I believe this is pretty well it for these teams. I mean, you have to win out. You have to keep going. Um, we looked at this previously in uh, the top 16 rounds, but Saints, you're pretty much looking to win this out to try and get yep. that auto qualification, being top one or two, because other than that, you are in very, very tight contention when it comes to points, and not auto qualifying will not guarantee the Saints at this point. There is still a chance, but you definitely want that guarantee. Rochester, here on the pistol round, they're going to flood onto this A site. Seth got a good look at a few. Yeah. Rochester, just W King right into sight, getting getting the bomb down spike or spike, planted. my mistake. Uh, just getting right into the whisk, getting into their post plant setup, and Saints are starting to swarm. Yeah, they've spent most of their defense kind of sitting heaven in that area. Yummo seven able to pick up two, rotating through that defender spawn. Caillou, he's good for the trade up from heaven, but at this point, the Saints being picked apart. They've now grabbed a little bit of control on the site. Still facing up Ooh. against Gone and up against this Sky. Seth on the long range. Oh, Hernando's man. fallen. Lazy Pig, the last one. one. Sky v Sky on the 1v1. Taps the bomb. Caillou needs to find this oh. swing. Lazy Pig finishes it off with the 3K in pistol round. 1-0 for Rochester. Looking to take a second. Yeah, Lazy Pig with a nice... I do believe that was a right click. I mean, it was an instant headshot. It looked pretty it was, quick, It wasn't yeah. a jumping right click, though, so it doesn't count. But that's true, yeah. It's little. like it's like slightly less swag points, but still like it, very quick on the draw there towards the left. I mean, he just peeked out the corner, swung the corner. Caillou not even able to get a shot off. Now, as we move in second round, this is typically what we're gonna see. Bulldogs being forced out, most likely some Spectres. Actually, triple Bulldog from the side of Rochester. We we usually don't see teams go all in on the Bulldogs oh. like that. Lazy Pig showing us exactly why, though. He's going to pick up two as the Saints try to flood out through mid. And this utility now going to make it tough for them to really follow up on anything. I mean, Sushi was able to find the one with his classic. Yeah, I really like Saints' play here. Obviously, Lazy Pig taking down two of them. They they know they're at the disadvantage with mm -hmm. the first round loss, so they gotta they gotta do something and might as well crowd but like just just crowd and attack, just to get try and get some kills out. Maybe pick up one of those weapons. Doesn't look like they would did so along the way, but bomb down on a site, making a way through heaven here. You're just, the, t the issue for the Saints right now is you're just playing up against such range. You see yeah. three members from Rochester up here around a ramp. You've got another one being that Omen. He's clearing out B. He is methodically clearing out the rest of this map. Eventually, Target Rochester, out. they're going to know exactly where the Saints are hiding at. But at this point, looks like the Saints just yeah. hoping to, uh, to go along with the spike here and grab a little bit more money for themselves in the end. Not really going to concern themselves with trying to find any exits. It's tough to really do anything there that's super, super valuable because you've got classics and a frenzy into like three bulldogs and a phantom. Yeah, you, you can't do much with that. And Saints going down with the spike, not to give any extra old points across the board to Rochester. Um, bit of a reflection to yesterday's matchup with the yeah, we with actually a bit of a rage quit. This would be the time to do it. Um, yeah, a bit of a bit of a lobby issue that happened yesterday with uh, Florida International. Yeah, that was a, that was an interesting was... one, to say the least. Now, this is going to be the first buy round Ooh. from the Saints. You see Grim, he's carrying over this Sheriff. I think he did actually fall last round, so I think he is picking that up for the first time here. Yep. Makes sense that he wouldn't just full out on a rifle there. Sushi going to be finding first blood out near B Garage. That's Sushi and Caillou with a little combo 
over there off of that sky as well. You've picked up the Lurker, but now the rest of Rochester, that's their go mode for A. They're going to take down the turret there. But this Viper wall is making it tough for them to cross. And the second that drops, you're going to be dealing with Viper or with Astra utility, some Viper utility as well. And now Sushi has made this full rotation all the way through heaven. Sushi, no dash available. Snakebite going to be popped in his corner. It's going to force him to reposition. He sprays through, but Vents is going to be the play for Rochester. Yeah, Lazy Pig did take a bit of damage on that cross, but nothing, nothing to worry about as... This is Saints bonus, you kind of have to deal with what you got. But a little indecisive on this round, they went through A, now making the decision go through B in there. Unsure of what they want to go left. through. Going to be running into three Saints yeah, on B site. I really love this one way too. Yeah, but I mean, what a shot by It grabbed a one kill mid when they tried to make this flood out vents, and it, it slowed down the play from Rochester a lot. You oh. look, Hernando's got this spike in hand. Hernando has to be the one to drop this down. They do make the timing. Lazy Pig makes it out with a sliver of health, and now you've got a 2v3 post plant situation. Seekers online for Lazy Pig. It's going to be popped. Nose one's heaven. Nose one is going to be playing from elbow there. Four yeah, tapping. Lazy pig like just holding here. this angle. Remaining. Now you're down to a 2v1. You can play off of each other and play this well. It's Grim with a blast pack available. Two blast packs available as this final player. 61 health. Ems is going to find the headshot. He's going to find that defuse. He's going to shut down. That third round from Rochester, pick one up for themselves. Rochester, they looked like they almost picked it back up at the end there after getting two, you know, two picks yeah. to nothing off of the starting. It was a great call to rotate B. Yeah, and Saints are really going to be suffering in the economy here. Just, just purely, players purely just off dying. Yeah, yeah, like they had the five, the five v three advantage and going into like a what a two three v one at the end of it, but four tapping able to close it out. But yeah, not a not a great economy side for the side of Saints. But Rochester on their full buys, on their bonus, full util, the works. Looking to go B. Yeah, just not being able to bring more than one rifle into that next round did hurt the Saints a good bit. And Rochester, that being their third round straight, you know, they're carrying weapons over from their own bonus, and they're not really concerned about dying, nor are they concerned about rebuying this round because they're phantomed up, they're vandaled up. The doof doof. Full util available. Yeah, you see the judge up there from Seth. He's kind of showed his hand a little bit there, but <laughs> the flash is going to be good, and Caillou got a lot of chip damage yeah, onto right. the opposing sky, or... It looks like it was healed up by that Sky. Caillou actually going to be the uh, recipient of a lot of that damage. Yeah, this is the one thing with Split. Such slow play styles. Because, mm -hmm. like... You have to wait for your opening yeah, very often. Like, it's either you try and lurk mid, or you just play super slow down A main, as we see... Mm -hmm. mid, going I mean, through, mid is huge here, right? Because yeah. be, as the defenders, if you control top mid, you have so many more ways to rotate over to A. And as the attackers, you're kind of forced to set yourself up so you can cross through sewers as well, like we saw Rochester do. Yep. A few players cross through sewers. Now you've got this five-man coming out A. Grim uses those blast pack, but they don't know where Ems is underneath that is he corner as well. Ems is lurking in the corner. He finds one. Four tapping on the back site finds another. Hernando Whoa. with the trades is good. How have they turn this into a 2v2 Rochester gunfights on point now you've got an Ares and a judge to play with nice one left done. they know exactly where he is backside from the seekers yet Caillou quick elim quick elim <laughs> through the wall there yeah I mean you're playing the Viper right you have no utility left on site yeah, if you're, you're Hernando you're other than your Viper's pit which I mean you're not gonna burn no. that for Not one round, right? Especially when it's only the tying up round for St. Clair. You want to carry that through towards these next few and you really can secure one down. Obviously, those Seekers still being alive actually helped out Caillou so, so much because they gave away exactly what corner of that site that Hernando was going to be playing in towards Elbow. And with a with a weapon like the Ares, you can just spray 50 shots into that yeah, corner. The Ares is if his, if his, even his shoulder, his elbow, his toes peek out for a pixel, he's gonna fall to that one. Yeah, the Ares is I like I'm not I'm not a I'm I'm a Spectre kind of user instead of the Ares. It's just I don't like ADS in this game. It's really it's really weird. 
and like I, f I figure every time I have to use the Ares, it's ADS. Yeah, I, f I think the LMGs in general, the Ares and the Odin, I think they play a lot better when you're ADS. ADS but yeah. at the same time, sometimes you just it's need so that those quick shots, and it's yeah. tough when you're not ADS, as the sprays just feel even more wild on those weapons. Here, a lot of this utility being traded back out. Oh. Grim's about to make it out of this. Oh, I like smoke. that. Smoke. That's a great smoke stream. The tail Trailblazer is gonna pick off Hernando. That's what happens oh, when you're running through Viper skills. utility. You've got no health, and you're taking double damage. Lazy Pig. Trades the one back. Three players on this rotation, two on site, four tapping up on top. Finds Lazy Pig back site. Last one, presumably playing Garage, but you gotta watch this ring around the Rosie. Four tapping, holding both sides. They got a player holding each. Now they get to trade off who they exactly they want this alt point on. They're gonna give it to that lockdown and look at the ultimates from the Saints as they take the lead three rounds straight. Yeah, that was. Pure execution. Obviously, Rochester was on a bit of a save round. Um, if we can take a look at that scoreboard quick, uh, kind of see what the buy is coming through. It looks like it's going to be a full buy from both sides. Sushi does have Bladestorm available, so not surprised to see him he'll, still he'll just pull have... up, He'll pull up a shorty. He'll, yeah, he'll pull up a shorty, maybe even like a sheriff. Looks like he's just chilling and spawn for a sec. May actually, pause timer. We could have had a, uh, oh, yeah, pause yeah, a little bit of a pause tech a issue here. Oh, no, not the buy. <laughs> <laughs> the buzz again. It's going to be Sushi himself this time, looks like, but figure out, get the update on that one. Overall, these past few rounds, I mean, Rochester had a stellar pistol round. I got to hand it to them. Lazy Pig played that out very, very well mm -hmm. in that post plant. Obviously, after that, you know, you're, you've got weaponry upon weaponry. They're able to take that second round pretty easily mm -hmm. as Saints try to flood down mid. But after Saints have gotten some rifles into their hands, I, I gotta hand it to Rochester though. Every single round has come down to a post plant, down to a defuse. In yeah. that sense, they have been making it right. They've been they've been running the gauntlet throughout these rounds and making it to that final stretch of the post plant. But the Saints have just somehow eked it out every time. It seems like M's being a key member of that, winning two out of three of these clutch rounds he's had. Yeah, like going through like keep, regardless of economy and what guns that either side has. They've been keeping it relatively close each round. Like, the last round, they're going into a post plant, and I think there were Spectres and Stingers, maybe one Vandal mm -hmm. or a Bulldog, and, like, holding on to their own, making it a 3v2 at the end of it, and Saints taking it with three players left alive. Going to have... Yeah, and going through three, five ultimates online, we had the Viper's Pit, the Omen TP. I don't know the technical term for that one. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. I kind of forget the, uh, the name as well. It's probably like From the Darkness. From the, I think it might be From the Shadows, actually. Ah, uh, right. It's, yeah, it, yeah. That's either Omens or that's going to be one of those League characters where, like, you could realistically <laughs> throw the, the name ultimate. into, like, any game. Yeah. And, and it works out, like, <laughs> it's right? Because it just sounds... You know, you just make a name sound like edgy and like, it's like strong. The and it's like the Nocturne ult. Like, yeah, the that Nocturne could be from ult the from the darkness, like, from the shadows. Like, who, I think I think Nocturne's ult is actually called Paranoia, which is oh, funny because right. that's, you know, Omen's Flash. His Flash is Valor. Paranoia, yeah, yeah. Paranoia, Paranoid. Yeah, it's, you know, they like to use the buzzwords yeah. here, here in gaming, and you see them in a lot. Like, yeah, the, any kind of character that's yeah. going to be, like, edgy, whether it be, you know, Omen, Nocturne, the Reaper from Overwatch yeah. that we saw, you know, yeah. some kind of, like, from the shadows, yeah. from the darkness. Reaper's got the death blossom. Like, you just got to make it sound... Yeah, got to make it sound gloomy. Sound like a, you know, like an early 2000s, like, metal band. <laughs> yeah, for sure. And looking across, like we said before, Bladestorm in the hands of Sushi when he reconnects. Just a bit of an Odin spam for in the meantime from Hernando. Yeah, I want to look for a quick update here. If whether or not we are going to send it to a quick little break and just wait out this tech issue here. It seems like it is just going to be some peripheral issues. Looks like we have a mouse that is, uh, you know, not wanting to track or work or really just like, uh, yeah, move that cursor at all. So, yeah, that's... Uh, you know, surprisingly, that's one of those things you need to perform in Valorant is a, is a solid mouse. You know, one that can turn your character. Yeah. That would help a little bit. And, like, actually shoot. Yeah. <laughs> that, that'd be important. Yeah, right and left clicks do help a little bit. But I think we are just going to send it to... Oh! Sushi? The bottom we left. We might have gotten oh, him back. The shorty, shorty is bought is. up. And here we are. Match timer should be unpaused in a few seconds here as everyone gets into position. And I guess the one... Uh, 
But one interesting thing here is now, essentially, both teams have had a second to kind of cool off a little bit and, you know, almost act as like a timeout. I want to see if Rochester's really taking this time to think out their attack and yeah. think about how they're going to shut down Saints, especially with all these ultimates available. Looks like Caillou wants yeah, to get aggressive mid. Guiding light. It's going to find one. He's oh. so blind, and that's two oh. down mid. Rochester perfectly shutting down that combo that the Saints tried to get started there mid. Yeah, I think next round we might have another tech pause because that looked like he was just stuck with the mouse. He was just like... I don't know. No, I think he was just blind. I think he was just uh, yeah. super blind from that guided light, if I'm not mistaken, but... We'll see. We'll find out eventually. But yeah, we'll find out. It's the thing about the observer is that it doesn't fully blind us, right? It yeah, shows we just get circle. the little eyeball circle. So, so sometimes when it looks to us like, oh, no. oh he could have easily seen him. Yeah. Meanwhile, he's basically still full yeah, blind. Eyes, like, yeah, not working. Mm -hmm. But Rochester going on B site. I do believe four tapping is playing Astra, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, four tapping is going to be on, the, on uh, the patented Astra for himself there. Yeah. It's pretty much all we've seen him play here on Split for most of the season. Mm -hmm. you got to check your left here. One in the corner from behind. Hernando shuts that one down. Ties it up for Rochester. That's going to be a, a taxing round for the Saints as well. They use up their full buys and they use up that Blade Storm. You see there a few players not really able to get a weapon in their hand. Ooh, do they're, up. they're forcing this out. They're forcing out this yeah. Operator and leaving Seth to dry, really, when it comes to weaponry. But he does have the Viper's Pit. Could just be opting. Wonder if we'll see maybe, like, he'll probably just a Frenzy or something like that, or just maybe just bait a little bit with this and hope they can find something with the Classic. Oh, yeah, he's throwing Viper Pit and going to be holding down with the Classic with the right clicks and hoping for the best. Yeah, Rod it looks like he's just going to sit in Mailroom. Yeah, Rochester kind of sitting mid, unsure of what they're going to do. It looks like they're going to be going to A through sewers. Um, just, once again, just playing slow. Just playing slow. Okay, so oh. he does have the Stinger in hand after all is said and done. Seth in a good position because anyone who's going to go through there, even if the Rays uses up both blast, blast packs. packs and flies through, they're still going to be missing 20 to 30 health by the time they get up to top oh, yeah. mid and face themselves up against Seth. Not the K. It's going to hold it down pretty well. It's making Rochester really have to think more than twice about what their push is going to be as the spike's over towards A side. Two players baiting a little bit B with that Trailblazer. The Rosa. showstopper going to be a Rosa all the way to screens, but it, it clears the site. Oh, lockdown coming in from the side of Saints. I really like this play. Now, Lazy Pig waiting for Seth. Seth finds Stinger it div. and a weapon upgrade. He's able to move back into this Viper's Pit. Doesn't need it anymore, but it's going to allow him to rotate there through vents. Going to leave Yum in a questionable position towards Sewers as he has to worry, will Seth actually make this push through Sewers? Gone on the site. Swarm is going to find one. Grim finds two. There's only one more left. And just like that, the Viper's Pit in return is going to shut down the Saints and Rochester back to a lead for themselves. Yeah, that was really well executed. They're, they're playing their timing really well. Like, they're just... Like, the, end of the first minute of the round is just sitting in their spawn, just kind of playing default, just waiting for someone to get... A little antsy on the side of Saints to make make a, a questionable peek or something. And then once they make they find that out, they just say, Okay, we're going here. We're going to A, we're going to B. Depends. But now default again. Quite the lineup for that smoke. I like that. Yeah, that was a uh a toss and a half right there. Mm -hmm. Seth has made it deep down into mid here. He's oh, not able to get off that snake bite and Lazy Pig holding it down in market once again has found multiple Ooh. kills. Caillou, quick turn from the guiding light. He's able to flick back, find a headshot, but not safe enough from Grim. This is a brawl out mid and almost all the Saints have fallen M's. Last member, last line of defense here as the eco round was swiftly shut down by Rochester wow. and a 3K to Grim. He's going to finish off that round. Two rounds up in Rochester. Looks like they found some momentum after our little pause there. Yeah, I, that race play with the blast pack to like, I will, it's not necessarily a pop and swing, but like gets that extra push off of, the, off, of the, off of that angle. Love those plays. Textbook, beautiful play. And then they go and he secures it for a 3K. Now, 
Look, see, that's what I'm thinking. I think there's there is an issue with sushi. Sushi, oh, my mistake. Yeah, Sushi's you can mouse. see him just messing with all the dongles yeah. and everything there. I'm not sure. Yep. Coach Ma's showing his concern. Yeah. In the back. Clearly <laughs> looking. Uh, <laughs> you know, if you've ever been around the Saints Nexus, you've you've seen Ma's you know Ma's. He's, you know uh, Ma's. Yeah. He's like. <laughs> He's like, what's the word? He's like the troll under the bridge here in the the <laughs> arena. Like, he's just always around. He's always there, you always know, there providing his help. support, the mental support here to the Valorant team. You know, yep. a ton of, ton of other stuff here around the Nexus. And it's interesting that Rochester, you know, after two rounds straight, well, they are the ones that actually popped this time out. You know, clearly they have a plan coming into this next one. They've got a lockdown. They've got seekers available. Mm -hmm. They have a full buy. For themselves, but sometimes, y do you really want to take that time out? Almost like stall your own momentum in that sense. We're gonna have to see, because Saints have a buy, but this is the only one they're gonna squeak out for a few rounds here. They're gonna have to make it count, and with almost even ultimates, this could be the round to do it. Yeah, looking at stacking this B site, shift walking through, just again taking space. But it looks like they're actually gonna be committing here. Lockdown in, four tapping. Gonna be holding that angle, throwing down his stars. Just trying to lock them out there of the site. Pun Clearly not intended the execute. on that one. They were uh, taking that time out to set up here. We've got the lockdown, the Seekers to follow up. Grim does actually take a good chunk of damage there from, I believe that was the snake bites over there from Seth. Yeah. He's gonna come back. Seth got, still got snake bites up. What made him vulnerable earlier is the question. Mm -hmm. Seekers find them on the other side of that Cosmic Divide. This is going to be four tappings Cosmic Divide. It's going to give them a good look on this spike as well. Pop flash through. Ems is good for done. one. The trade is good, but one for one for one. Sushi takes him down and brawls it out inside oh of the gosh. dark cover. Two versus one right now. Hernando shuts down Caillou. 33 health on Hernando. Hernando trying to spray this one down. Seth, he's going to hold it. He's going to stick it. The spray is not going to be good. And he gets the kill. He finds the kill at the end too. 33 health left on Hernando. It's not going to be enough. Holy, what a round of clusterness. That, that was like insanely fast coming out of Rochester compared to every other round that we've had this entire game. And like, they got their plant, they got their, their lineups, they got everything down, but that four tapping with that uh, Astral Wall, or Astral Ultimate, sorry, uh, kind of lock, kind of locking it out, kind of locking them out of hearing if they go for that defuse as well. So like, has Rochester just guessing what, what they want to do and Saints were luckily to take that one. But now, back to default back to their defaults and you know your ultimate for ultimate trades them back and forth rochester after picking up that point it's gonna give them the showstopper back up and available mm -hmm. ems this could be the position you're looking for yum's playing Come great on. the fact that he's playing so far out of his dark cover is just gonna save him from that judge should anything come to be drops down with zero audio cues yeah and look this guy ooh. is a absolute ghost right here on the omen <laughs> He has <laughs> crept his way all the way through mid, is now heaven, heaven. and these and three no saints that are about to push sewers are none the wiser. Meanwhile, Rochester yeah, and their and... spike ready to corral around B. Uh -oh. Showstopper, clear this one out. That's a good damage for the paint shells and another rose on the site. Yeah, he just grenaded himself a little bit there for like, I'd say 10 health or so, but they do have a sky. Can't get that health back. Look at this lurk. Look at this right now. Four tapping is completely dumbfounded by this lurk right now and i don't blame him yeah the, like just he just got like perfect timing out of perfect timing but now hernando and gone knocking down sushi and sef yeah they play those corners super super and well the second one takes a little bit of attention from that first target the second one swings out finishes off that pick they shut down two in garage ems can only get so close as the spike timer ticks away caillou decides to save his life here only 20 health to work with and you've got a phantom in hand they did win the last round so they're not going to be as strapped for cash if i'm not mistaken but 6-4 right now to Rochester. Rochester, you've guaranteed yourself an evened up half. Now, see if you can take the lead. Only yeah. two more straight to try and find an 8-4. Yeah, I just noticed, like, in when you're going from 
B site to A through that little market, I just noticed that that shop is called the Scuttle Shack. Yeah. Like yeah. the Scuttle Crab? Yeah, Scuttle I was from, like, oh. Uh, there's also, I think it's in uh, Defender Spawn here. There's like an area where the around League Worlds, there was a bunch of computers that were like playing League of Legends. Oh. I've seen, um, what's it called? Uh, blanket on the name. Legends of Runeterra, the card oh, game there. Okay. I think that's on there sometimes, too. They like to throw little, uh, little, cheeky little references there. and stuff into the other ones. To all their other games, you know. Make us uh, make us just maybe think that they're in the same universe. <laughs> yeah. Four tapping was taken down early round towards this B side now. M's kind of taking some space. Not really sure what's going on. He's going to be in trouble here. As he's taken down by Grim. And now, bit of an open site here, but look at mid. Look Sushi. At Sushi's far up mid here. He's playing oh, on the, the other side too. of these boxes. The timing on Yum, he's not able to find him. Ooh. Quick tap over to Gone as he is not even going to be followed up on Yum. He's, I mean, I'd be terrified of that Blade Storm too. Yeah, Yum is not peeking that. He, he just got one tapped by the knife. You're not, you're not, not going against that. Grim doing an excellent job here in this map. Taking down Caillou, getting the space that Rochester needs. And that should be bombed down, if I'm not mistaken, as it is going down. Grim with three already. Yeah, on track for a 4K. Seth has to make this rotation around. Yum's been waiting mid the whole time. You see, yeah, Seth, he was going to be the one who was Bucky. taxed with the, the buy here. So he's only got a Bucky to work with, and there isn't really any weapons for him to pick up anywhere. Might be able to find one. Oh, Couple headshots. He not gonna do enough damage one. though. Yeah, bit of a bit of a mistake on that first shot. Last Just a little to the pass. left, but that's all right. When you're struggling with a Bucky, you can't do much against a. I Phantom. mean, yeah, that that even that right there is almost like too long of range for a Bucky. I mean, you yeah. did see a ton of those pellets. It did end up hitting the head. I actually wonder what Yum's final health was in the end, because like I. I want to say a ton of those hit, but at the same time, it's that same thing where, like, you'll be playing and you'll spray mm -hmm. somebody with a Bucky, and it's like, what do you mean I only did 24 damage to them? Oh, my God. That's me every game. Yeah, pretty not, well. Not even with the Bucky, with the Vandal. Like, oh, how did I only hit him <laughs> once? Like, for, tw for like, 14 damage. Like, it wasn't through a wall. What's oh, the problem? But the struggles of Valorant players. Timeout coming in. Saints kind of just trying to figure out some strats, some countermeasures to Rochester's aggressiveness or slow play. It... They're really back and forth. That's so hard to play against. Like, first you gotta wait a minute for them to actually make a move, or they're making one in the first 15 seconds. It's like, okay, let's take a break here, figure out what we need, and we go from there. Mm -hmm. And it's one of those things too, where like the Saints, you, you haven't won the last few rounds. You don't really have much momentum behind you. Taking this time out to really guarantee and solidify your strat for yep. the last round of the half. You're gonna get another time out next half. So. Not too concerning. Get it out there. Make sure that all five players are on the same page of exactly what is going to happen, regardless of how this round starts, right? Regardless of what picks come through, regardless of if there's no picks until 15 seconds left, you need to make sure all of your players know exactly what the game plan is so you can try and secure this 7-5. Because 8-4 is a big lead for a team like Rochester to have moving on to this half. It's a long, long lineup there, like you said. Yeah. Beautiful smoke coming in, and it gives him the space, kind of like a, uh, like, I'm not going to say in, like, competitive play, but there are some, some, some times that Sage has played on that map, on this map. You just toss the wall right Toss there. the wall and start running. Mm -hmm. So, definitely a good counter with Viper, plus you get all of her extra util with the smokes and the Cover going up. Molly slash Venom. Yeah, the, uh, shots the, and the, the snake smoke. bite. It's really snake good, too. It's really good as a molly. Like, A, it ticks down really fast. I think they all tick at the same rate now. Yeah, it used yeah. to be different per molly, but I think they all tick down at a similar rate. Mm -hmm. But it's the fact that Viper specifically makes you vulnerable. Which yeah, makes you it take like decays double... You it decays you, and it makes you take double the damage from any other yeah, yeah. source, right? So you run through the Viper molly, and suddenly you're getting... Torn apart by M's with this Phantom. Hernando trades one back, but a three for one. It's not what Rochester needs to see in this final round. That's exactly what I'm talking about there yeah. with that snake bite. You saw it on the ground. You saw how many kills followed up. Well, I was going to say, if Emery was still alive, he'd be getting stuck with those mollies. Now, Viper pick coming through in a 1v3. Hernando, raise that one down, but... 
After being spotted out by Sushi, there's only so many spots for you to go. Caillou with a, even just a Bulldog in the oh, end finishes that, that one out. Okay, I was going to say, why is he using his Viper on the 1v3? But it is halftime. Yeah, now. it was last round, right? Okay. But yeah, St. Clair going to be on the attacking side. Honestly, for, for split, mid control, you have like an 80% chance of winning. I think. 100%. Because it's, like I said earlier, it's the options on the map. Not only do you open up way more options for yourself, that being like, mailroom and vents there, but you cut those options off from yeah, the from other team, team, which is such a huge thing. It means you're either making this long, drawn-out rotation. Let's say you're on B trying to rotate to A. If you can't get through mailroom, you have to go through your defender's spawn, which is exactly where they think you're going to be. Yep. Or you have to make this long, drawn-out run either through market and sewers or all the way through that attacker spawn there's no other ways to get to that site and it just it, it makes control of the map you know there's a reason it's called mid control it controls the entire map now saints here on this attack flooded Speaking up the ramp control. out the vents and they've able, been able to find one hernando follows as the rest of rochester sprinting to catch up gone and their sky they have made it in Ooh. the end and seth nice kill these shots are on point for the saints right now yeah yeah, side of Rochester, just kind of stuck up heaven side B. Just trying to get some distance, but in a 5v3, you're kind of in some trouble. Grim securing the kill on Seth, getting the heals from Sky. And M. straights out one back out with the Sheriff. He gets gone dangerously low as well. One health. The Sky's going to be able to Don't worry about it. do that one back up, but there's only so much health left on him for tapping on the, on the flank coming up the stairs. He's able to pick up that 3K in the round. And now, this is the thing about 7 5 halves. You win pistol, you're, let's say, projected to win this mm -hmm. next round, and then you've tied it up. Yeah, it's 7 6. Like. It's a really close game. I'm really liking the competitiveness of this matchup. Yesterday, also very good matchups, but mm -hmm. like we had that for like the first, we'll call it the first map. Blemish. First map, which was just very, very tight though. It was a 13 10 map. You had to keep that in mind. Yeah, and with all the like the, the with, initial. With the tech issues. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll chalk them up to tech issues in yeah, air yeah. quotes. But, um, it, it, but you look at the next two maps, and once the Saints were kind of on their stride, I mean, like, Haven, um, Haven uh, in and of itself Haven was just an absolute map. dominant map. But once the Saints really figure out a team, you mm. find that they're able to stack up leads really easily. And I think that's what we're like. That's what we're not seeing here is that Rochester has consistently switched up their play style on their attack. That the Saints, you know, they're they can't be reading, ready yeah. for it every time. Yeah, like I would be going crazy. If, if, I, if I was on this map, like, obviously, I am nowhere near this. Yeah, we would sound like the level. most gamers ever. Just like, yeah. what is this guy doing? Why is he in this corner, bro? Who plays there? Like, yeah, that's, yeah exactly. Yep. Like, I know exactly I'm just, what I'm you just mean. trying to go through, and this guy's. Like everyone just like, in the chat can probably relate right now. I too. think so, too. But St. Clair playing it slow, but they do have that mid control once again. The mid control is huge. Look at how pushed back everyone from Rochester is on this map. They're pretty much just playing in their spawn. And even on their sites that they control, they're playing back towards B. Everyone playing off of A site. The Saints yet to really grab any intel on anyone. Seth creeped up this far on ramp has actually helped a lot. Because it, it just means the Saints have one less angle to worry about when they fully do push in here. Yum on the site. He's not able to find that one with the right click. Four tapping takes so much damage, but just can't finish it off. And now he gets topped up by the healing. And we are right back to it. One player up. Lazy Pig trades that one back down onto Seth. They're going to be able to pick up an SMG from that as well. You can't let them cross here. Nice Ems finds kills. one. Takes a little bit of damage, but he spots the out the rest. Sushi! Picks up two, dashes away, reset upon reset. I think he got two dashes off there in the end. Ems picks up that round. You see, work. <laughs> Gubs made his way to the stage. We got the whole crew here today. Yeah, and that little speaker thing, I didn't even notice when we first panned to the cam, but we do have our Sakura Anime Fest going on. Yeah, you can see moment. this beautiful pink hue that we've got the stage on yeah, today. It's looking a little white with, with uh, you know, just all the equipment there and everything. Mm -hmm. You can see the nice Sakura flower logo there yeah. up on front of the pods. It's actually, it's popping out there. You know, we're kind of here in the production room. We're kind of, uh, yeah. you know, soundproofed and away from it all. But, uh, yeah, no, oh, it's, I just, could, when it's I a was nice directing? event. I know me and Ryan both got our shirts there today. Been enjoying it. Also been enjoying these casts here as... 
We've got a game on our hands. Seven mm. to seven. The Saints have tied it up. Now we're in that position once again where Rochester's able to get this by through. But the Saints carried over a lot of like resources and weaponry from last round. Yeah, they got basically they I think they had three or three four rifles, I believe. Three yeah. And like Spectres, maybe a bulldog or two. But now Beautiful Spectre. blinds by Caillou. That's a thing I really noticed with Caillou playing Sky. Like, assists mania. Mm -hmm. I think on that Lotus map, he was top fragging, and I think he had 12 assists. Yeah, because his guiding lights are amazing, and his pop flashes are, you know, just like they know, popped so in an instant, well. right? They're exactly what you want out of a pop flash, and it's really, really tough to react to that as the player. You almost have to be playing anti flash from the get go. Caillou. Through a dark cover from the back site. Look Nicely at these sprays done. to come through. Grim trades back one, but it's all going the way of the Saints. 13 health 13 on Hernando. He can't even get close to this defuse. The Saints have found their third round in a row. They're attacking side of split. They're going to run away. Four tapping run. They're going to make a heist with these two rifles as well. Four tapping. Oh my. Pixels. <laughs> so Pixels close. away. Nice little B hop to get out of the way there at the end. Yeah, taking. Um taking the roots from uh, Counter-Strike to get those B-Hops through to get that just that little extra speed boost to get out of there, yeah, a little not quick. dying to spike. Yeah, wonder if he's got jump bound to mouse wheel. That's a, uh, <laughs> that's a real Counter-Strike player thing yeah. to do. You know, I've noticed a lot of players in Valorant do that still as well. Really? But, I, but because B-Hopping is like not necessarily yeah, a thing, not the, the same, same as it is in, in CS, is obviously. I've seen a lot, of people, a lot of people just forego that, but some people stick to it. They're like, I've never used space to jump ever. That's so weird. It's Yeah, it is weird to me, but at the same time, if you bind Mouse Wheel up to jump, B-hopping in Counter-Strike is very easy. Seth, mm. finding it very easy to pick up these picks at the starting is Grim. Not able to follow that one up with the Sheriff. But you got to be concerned because you need to hit this one tap on Yum or else that body shot is going to take you down. Yum knows it too. He's chasing down Seth for this final shot. But Seth is ready. He shuts him down. Two for Seth in the round. Picks back up the spike. And the map is now your playroom. Where are you going to go? It's all up to the Saints at this point. They've got the control that is needed. Whether you want to go A, whether you want to move B, although... Most of their intel is pointing to A at this point. Seem to be on the right track with that one as Rochester needs to make these rotations. Yeah, they're kind of they're kind of getting an idea of or not. They're just kind of sticking near B, trying to decide what they want to do. Again, they only have like sheriffs and the doof, the judge going through. And yeah, anyone see that dragon's neck? Just uh, <laughs> the thing was like looked like it was about to snap off. <laughs> I don't know what's happening here with these skins sometimes, but. Now you're seeing this full rotation. So I understand what Rochester's doing, right? They don't want to make two players rotate. They don't want to overcommit. Just get picked off anyway. But yeah. either way, your retake is way more valuable when you have all three players at the same time coordinated. So mm -hmm. you hold down B if they do send it A, which they do. Now you have three players ready for this retake. And look how close they've made it to this site. Not only to the site, but to the bomb that Astrowell. Here comes the light. And the snake bite. There is everything under the sun in terms of utility. Hernando with the doof doof able to find one. Sushi and four tapping keep it going though. Hey Sushi four tapping and M's. One, two, three, line them up. They finish it off. Yeah, now we're at a 9-7 scoreline here. Like, Saints kind of took over. Four straight. Hello, Maz. How you doing? Um, <laughs> sorry. The, but, yeah, Saints really turning around on this attack side. They were, it was, what, a 7-5 half? Mm -hmm. And they've secured every round this half. They're doing the a good job. The big one was the third round for themselves. Because that yeah. essentially just meant that round was done and dusted. And you mm -hmm. saw at the starting, Grim tried to make a play out A main there and just got shut down yeah. by Seth. But that's kind of the things you have to do when you're on an eco round like that. And a player like Grim, we've seen him pick up two 3Ks more than a few rounds here. So I'm not surprised to see him try to get, you know, a little bit. Get his hands dirty with that Sheriff, but speaking of getting their hands dirty, the Saints have already cracked open on to A here, and looks like they don't want to stop Sushi all the way. He's made it all the way down screens here. The plant's going to come through from four tapping, and that's a beautiful timing from Sushi to shut down. Gone. Hernando going to find the worst of it. Oh, I thought that was a Saints yeah, I, player. I, I thought that was Caillou about to turn about away to from, from Yum as well. Down. I was ready for the absolute worst timing of all time, but well, it's Lazy Pig up there in heaven. 
You know, usually, the reason I thought, too, is usually you see the Saints take Heaven as their post plan, yeah, but usually. they didn't make it there in time. This was a super swift execute, and now they're just kind of forcefully pushing Rochester away because Rochester can't afford to lose these rifles right now. No, that's going to, you give up the rifles, you have absolutely no chance next round. It leads you to an 11 to 7 scoreline. You have to keep these rifles. You have to pray for this next round. Uh -oh. Try to make it this 10 8. Yeah, Grim taking some space, not going to be able to make it in time, but. Spotted the leg. The but legs at the end. But not enough time to secure that final kill. I saw Ems was going through mid as well, trying to find something if one of Rochester players went started to kind of funnel through mid, try and save their lives. Everyone kind of keeping their rifles for that one. Now, if we can take a look at the scoreboard to see kind of what the economy is looking like. Thank you very much. Yeah, Rochester right struggling. Now. I mean, and this is what I was talking about. Even the players that died, they could not afford to get anything back. You've got a judge, you've got a bulldog. Both of them, not both of them, one of them rocking light armor. This judge player here, Hernando, he's kind of been taking that same spot. Every single round, he can't get a rifle, mm -hmm. picks up that judge, takes the same spot. I'm not against it as the Viper player. Yeah, like Seth, Seth lines up there as well. He does, Although Seth does have that one way on top of the... Yeah, he likes to on use that one wall. a lot when he has the rifle available. Yeah, that's... I wish I knew how to do lineups, but not... But speaking of, a lot of util being pulled out here. Double dark cover as well. He's going to use it to save himself, as well as creep through a little bit closer to Garage. But the Saints are... I mean, they're content to just wait this one out. They know they have mm -hmm. the advantage in terms of weaponry. They're just looking to play for bodies at this point. It's what they've been doing the past few rounds. It's let them win. You play for one pick... Make your decision off of that. Yeah. Now, Lazy Pig, just wasting a bit of ammo. Just kind of clearing it out. Nice kill by Ems, but the Doof Doof coming in. There's one for Hernando on these swings. Is he able to find another microwave oh, in the corner? Him. He's going to fall to that. Ems somehow gets the last bullet there. Sushi. Oh, he knows. Yeah. I, that's a given. Someone's going to be sitting there waiting... And I, I, in that little entry spot, a little bit of like wanted posters or something going there, a couple bar graphs. Just kind of, just kind of, just kind of taking a read while he's waiting. Yeah, they're checking out the budget, seeing yeah. where it's at, <laughs> trying to get his rack eighty. Yeah, personally, more inclined to invest a bill thirty-five myself, but <laughs> this is a, this is a tough retake to make, only because that lockdown is still available from the side of the Saints. So if Ems is alive by the end of this, oh, the spray's gonna come hey. through. Forget about it. Forget about the lockdown. A 3K from M. Sushi to start it off. M's finishes it. It's a beautiful round to finish off. And a game that in that first half, you, once again, it's kind of the same situation. We saw this all last night, too. The first half is like adjustment game. Mm -hmm. and, and the second that they flip, the Saints are like, okay, we know what you guys are doing. We know what you're up to. We know exactly yeah. how to counter these players. And it's just been round after round after round. Six rounds straight for the Saints. Only two more to secure this game. Yeah, just marinating in the beginning, then starting to cook in the second half here. Yeah, exactly. But that's Double a showstopper. Kill. First non-Rosa of the map. Yeah, actually. And don't get me wrong, the last few were, like, they were solid in clearing yeah. out the site, but that's the first one we've seen land actually and put something. some bodies on the board, and that's what you really want to see from the showstopper. Yeah. Stop the show in that sense. This is going to be tough this to move forward through. Doof, doof. He's able to find one. Can't keep shooting for that second, and Caillou is going to mean he's back to full, not back to full health. He's back to 34 health. Viper ults are so crazy. It slowed Decayed down Decayed to so much. one health, and then you're, like, outlined. Last like, basically, standing. you're a red light. Like, oh, I'm right here. Mm -hmm. Just Grim. shoot me with the judge. Like, no problem. Oh, Seth going to be taking some damage from that. Grim's looking to make this a 4K. Okay, finish like off this round. Dark cover comes through. I almost want to see Seth just peek down. out of this one. Just be a little Ooh. bit un <laughs> unpredictable. And boy, was okay. that unpredictable. The headshot. 30 seconds left. Someone check his mouse. Clearly there's no <laughs> malfunctions there. <laughs> Yum. Yep. His is good. His is good. He almost has to hold this from the site. Seth finds it. Open B. Oh, this is open B, and it should be open for a plant as well. Then have to make this rotation all the way from A, a 1v4. Two players down Seth. 
He's made his plant. He's isolated these players, but the Trailblazer oh and gosh. the Seekers are going to make it tough for him to try and move through this. Concussed up and being pushed down from both sides. The no. shorty, he's not able to find it. Gone shuts oh. him down. And Rochester are not out of this just yet. They're not letting the match point happen. 11 to 8. Saints, they might have found six in a row, but... It's not even, I mean, they're not they're so not far ahead. Rochester being at seven just puts them in a great place coming out of that first half. Rochester's only looking at a few more. The saving grace for the Saints, that, that absolutely booming economy. Yeah, they got a few rec 80s in their loom going through. Light armor on three, on three, on the side of Rochester. We're not going to be seeing a judge this time from Hernando. He's 15 and 13 though, and he's been using the judge consistently. Yeah, and it, it, and almost every round he's been able to find one, maybe even a second before being traded out. Did that just destroy the, no, okay. Doesn't destroy the lockdown. Yum is gonna be pushed out to the corner and, you know, typically you see a lot of teams with these lockdowns, they push P players out to the corner and have like a nano setup or something there, but Saints are happy with just the displacement in and of itself. Grim finds one, peeks out, finds huh? another. Lazy Pig continues it. Two for two on each of these players. Four tapping in the blink of an eye. You're the only one left. A triple from Grim finishes that one off. Saints, you've realistically got one more round of buys before Rochester is essentially even in this game, and you're going to be having a hard time. Grim and Lazy Pig. Wow. They, that's like that's like the third or fourth 3K that Grim has had this entire game, mm -hmm. and Lazy Pig has been like finishing up those kills right at the like throughout. He's always he's always there at the end of the round to get to to close it out. Mm -hmm. And now economy looking relatively even, even though two rounds ago Saints had like eight grand with full buys. So happens when you're spending 45 every round, 4.5k every single round as they have to expend into utility and armor and weapons. And now you don't have much to work with for these next few rounds. Oh Lazy Pig my. is able to spot out a few. They know there's at least one back on this site. Do they know that Gone is also Caillou. there? He's gone from the site as Caillou picks up nice two. Gone. Sushi finishes the player off screens. Now. It's Hernando and Yum. Last line of defense before the match point is secured by the Saints. Yeah, Saints are taking space. They're not letting anyone through. M's going to be taking on Yum here. Takes down, but Seth comes to pick it up. As in long the as end. you're trading. Yep. Get your ones. Quick trade, no problem. You take the win. Yeah, you're, you're happy for that. Seth in a perfect position to make that trade on to M's. Hernando falls, match point secured in map one here against Rochester University. Saints, you're looking to push through, forward through this C-Val bracket and after a tough first half. Mm -hmm. They've really came into their own here. You're only looking at one more round and let's take a look at the buys here from Rochester. Bulldog, Bulldog and Light three armor. rifles, not in, you know, not the pristine buy you want when the, the enemy best. team is up on match point. Yeah, and double Bulldogs with both of them with you light armor at it. the same time. Now we're going to be seeing the Asher wall coming through. Kind of just giving them the extra space, but Yum getting deleted. Gets Grim too. Sushi with the two. Will he get the third? He sneaks past. Gets Hernando taken Hernando inside of the Astra smoke. Trades that one back onto Sushi. But guess what, Rochester? You just got baited. They're you on got A. absolutely bamboozled. Not to mention, look at Caillou still holding it down there from oh heaven. Hernando falls and he rotates all the way back through sewers. And guess this, what Seth knows? Uh, this looking all but done. Keep in mind, you do have the lockdown available if you're Rochester. You but do. the time is running out. You got to drop that soon or else... You're going to be in a tough position and a tough break for map one. Look at what they have to push through right uh, now. Yeah. Seth and M's finish off map one. 13 to 9 after a 7 5 half. The Saints keep the momentum rolling. Wow. What a play from the Saints. Down 7 5 at half, taking to what? 
not. I think it was like six in a row. Yeah, it was like uh, seven five. Then they made to it 10. to essentially eleven seven or to ten seven. Yeah, before Rochester was even able to grab a round, and yep. Rochester battled back two rounds straight. But eventually, mm -hmm. the Saints are going to be back on those buys, yep. and Rochester was forced to use ultimates every time to shut down yeah. the Saints. Whereas the Saints will just soak those ultimates every time and wait for the rounds to come. Yeah, like. A lot of utility usage coming out of Rochester, and they did a really good job with that util securing the like just securing sites, securing their mm -hmm. defaults, doing all that stuff on attack and defense. Really good util usage. But if you can't click heads, you can't win. And Saints taking map one with flying colors. Yeah. I mean, it's a beautiful second half to watch from the Saints, and it looked like almost a timeout at the end of that second mm -hmm. half was really the crux that brought them into it. Because yeah. even while, with losing the last round of that half, you're not able to tie it up, which is going to sting a little bit. Keep yeah. the mental strong. You keep it going, and their attack was looking mighty fine mm -hmm. there on split. But before we head to map two, we're going to head to a quick little break as all these players get ready, get into the second lobby with what could be the decisive game of our CVAL talk. Top eight matchup here. We'll Lotus. come back after this break. Lotus.
Welcome back for map two, Ryan. We saw... I was horribly wrong. We, so, yeah. So, Lotus, not going to be that map two. Map three. Three-sided map, map three. though, like map you three. said. Yeah. Lotus is map three. Lotus is in the pick. We just got the order a little bit fr frazzled here no. on the stream. But we're seeing this typical Haven comp that we've seen the Saints pretty well be happy playing these last few weeks here. Yep. That's going to be Seth on that Omen. We've occasionally see M's on the Omen, but he's been sticking to the Sova, at least for these past few matches that we've seen them yeah. on Haven. The big pick here, of course, that I'm looking at is Select that Gecko from Caillou. Only because he's so new, so fresh, and, you know, the Haven meta hasn't been changed up for a long time. And the fact that the Saints are willing to just pick up the Gecko and start playing it, I love to see it. Yeah, Caillou's just throwing a wrench into the meta. Just like, mm -hmm. here, have Dizzy, have Wingman, have Thresh, Thrash, sorry, and the green grenade. I forget his name. Mosh Pit. Mosh Pit, thank you. And That's what it feels just like, like in the Mosh just Pit. Get, just get blinded. <laughs> just get blinded, stunned, detained. Yeah, wing, the no, Wingman Whatever is, one you want, you no, got No, Wingman it. has to be... And Ian, like, quote me on this call, Broken. say whatever you want, has to be one of the most overtuned abilities in the game, only because he can plant defuse, you can and pick stun. him back up, and he can concuss people and just be like a drone for you. Yeah. I feel like that's Ridiculous. just a little too much in one ability, but we will have to see. L like, all I know is every time I see Wingman, I go shout out Wingman because he shout usually does boy, something Wingman. good for us. Whether he, you know, whether he's doing that concuss, whether he's making that the defuse, you gotta shout out the boy. Taking a look at Rochester's comp, we kind of skipped over it a little bit, but it's, it's really just because there's not much to normal. look at here. It's that normal. stock standard Haven comp that works out for so so many teams. I guess the one piece of I guess we'll say like almost player expression coming in this comp comes from that Astra over the Omen. Caillou gets man. his plant off early. B is actually going to be the play for this first push here off oh, of the pistol that's... round. Lazy Pig can't get set up, but Grim and Hernando, good for those trades. Hernando keeps it going. Keep jump, them jump. going. Gone with the classic. <laughs> He's going to shut down Seth. It, great play out of the Saints just to just kind of rush in and go to and get on B site and take the space, but unfortunately the right clicks were not clicking and the heads were not falling to the floor. But now, Rochester, see some Bulldogs, see some Spectres coming through. Two Sheriffs on the side of Saints with Caillou and Sushi. And Seth, thank you for picking up the third Arcane Sheriff. Very nice. Nice looking one. Yeah. Any, any weapon that just changes like the default, uh, I guess like the model or the animations clean. is always clean in my opinion. Off the rip though. Slow again. He's, he was able to pick up that ult orb, I believe, and he's actually creeped his way up to Cubby. But look at the rest of these Saints. They're moving through Garden, moving towards A long, but the spike yeah, is uh, sitting there near spawn. Yeah. So she's been taking a lot of damage as they oh, try yeah. to push through there. I think Ems is... Oh, no. He's going to be full health. It was just a little color discrepancy there. It looked like he was at, like, one. Yum yeah, shuts just... down Caillou. So, no more Dizzy, no more Wing. Shut out Wing. Nice shot at a yum. But four tapping with the counter. Taking it s really slow here. Going through A. Sev's already pretty close to B. And I don't blame them. I mean, you know you only have sheriffs to work with. You're just looking for these long angles. But the problem with those long angles is that a bulldog trumps all when there's no armor on the board. A flash about to come through for himself. It's not going to work out. Lazy nice. Pig with two um, wall bangs picks up the 3k. Sushi and four tapping, both of them low, close to death, and not able to squeak that one out. Yep, should now be getting a full buy out of Saints. Do I see an operator on the side of Yum? You I do, do, and I'm expecting Class him. Cannon. I was going to say I'm expecting him A long only because of how many times the Saints have a long been there. C. But C long is also a very valid, valid position for this op to be. And actually, I think Haven is one of those maps where the operator just kind of shines in general. Like, obviously, there are a few other ones, but just these long, you know, long C, long A, and 
all of mid can be just completely shut oh, down nice. by an operator. First one's gonna miss, Recent. second one's gonna miss. He dashes away, but Dizzy is gonna be the bearer of bad news for Yum as the operator is down, and these Saints players are in. Oh, Hernando holding no. close in his own smoke picks up two, shuts down the Saints push. It's all gone haywire. They somehow trade some back, but Caillou's getting super low. Hernando trades that one out. Chaos on the C site, and Rochester comes out on top. Yeah, and Gon gonna be picking up that Operator for Yum. And now Yum is going to A, holding down A long. It was, it was a good lineup to go, like, I read the play out of the Saints perfectly, but whiffed and then dashed the wrong direction. So it was a bit of, I'd say a bit of a user error going on there, but now going to A side. Reads, reads, the, reads the Saints again, so hopefully he can knock Her out Hernando. a Hernando single-handedly saved that round oh, for Rochester. They had, especially after that initial entry, right, you shut down the offer, Yum missed those two shots, wasn't able to find a pick. You're so close on this op, you should be able to find everything. Yum finds the first one in this round, however. Sushi, close with that stinger. He's able to pick up one back. Concussed in the corner. Not going to be pushed out just yet, though. They're a little concerned, I mean... Don't want to be pushing into this jet. Could have dashed away. Could have that still back up. Look at He's Seth. actually waiting on another kill for that dash to be back up. Cosmic Divide to be placed down from Rochester. Oh. It's going to actually block the bullets from Grim here as that means go mode uh -oh. for the Saints. Seth's going to fall. Sushi trades one back. One 2v2. Remains. One player Five over on planted. the other side for tapping. Clutch situation here. Gonna have to play her slow, though. Did Ford Tapping play KJ yesterday on Haven? Not typically. Um, I, I believe we actually did see him yesterday. Yeah, if I'm not did mistaken. He? Yeah. I was gonna say, not the usual. He's not usually a Sentinel, but if the comp works, the comp one works. Nice. One Kill one out of Ford Tapping. Forth. 1v1. Lazy Pig holding that angle. Four straight for Rochester on their defense side, and have they figured out the Saints? You know, we talked a lot about the Saints last map, taking that first half, losing that first half, but kind of coming out for the better and realizing, you know, what Rochester's game plan is. But as Rochester just came into map two and said, okay, we're not losing to the Saints this time. Four straight rounds, the Saints picking up scraps. Yeah, and the really weird thing with the Valorant, just in general, three side map attack sided. Are you sure about that? Are you sure? I, I mean, any, you know, this is going to be like, I don't know. Cause same with Lotus. Controversial or who would take this? But I think any tax shooter like this is inherently like somewhat defense sided, mm -hmm. right? Because you know, holding angles is always going to be just a little stronger than pushing, barring some online like finickiness with peekers advantage and the like. But getting in here with uh -oh. that blade storm should be able to shut down one. Hernando in the back. Hernando is just making this happen every time. Shuts one down. Locked down in the corner. Caillou, lazy pig taken down. Hernando, how are you still here? He makes three. Saints finally shut them down. That's their first round on the board. Feeling a little better about that one, but it almost feels just a little too late into the game. Definitely wanted to find that earlier. Gonna have to see what you can work off of this. For sure. Uh, gonna be stealing your thunder a little bit here, but shout out Wingman for planting that bomb. Honestly. Real hard work, that guy. Yeah, Ex actually, no, he's a boy. top performer. But now, looking at the economy of Rochester, it's very poor compared to the side of Saints. Full four phantoms. I don't really, you don't really shoot, see that that often. Yeah, I think even as one of those maps where a lot of people are more inclined to the Phantom. It's because of the, um, like, I forget what the, it's like. Uh, when first you get, shot accuracy? No, not the first, well, first shot accuracy as well, but like when Fire you get, rate. The, when you get shot with it and you just the, get the, Oh, the aim punch is crazy. Aim punch, yes. that's what it I is. I mean, Thank obviously, you. yeah, there's no aim punch on a Vandal because you get headshot and you're one dead. One tap, you're dead. But, but either way, the Phantom, like, if you hit that first one, as long as you're not, like, yeah, you're actually screwed. the worst human with a mouse, you should be able to find the second one right. just based off the aim punch. But at the same time, I'm Ooh. the worst human in a lot of situations. Yum, though, is you might as well Definitely have a Vandal not. in his hand right now. <laughs> this guy's flying around with his blade storm. He's found two picks off the rip with it. And now the Saints have decided to make their play towards this seaside. 
far away from the blade storm. Detained. There's going to be a detain coming through. They should find Gone, but you've got to worry about this rolling thunder in response. M shuts down one. Yum with the sheriff in hand. No more blades uh -oh. to work with. He's going to pick up a gun. There's only one left. M's shut down. 4K from Yum. All starting off with the blade storm. Thrifty, Thrifty round. That was a big eco round. It yeah. all came off of one singular ultimate. The rolling thunder helped, but that blade storm really opened up the round. Yeah, what what was it? Two sheriffs in a classic? That was it. Like and they that was the buy. pull out against a fully bought up minus one player with light armor. But full buy out of Saints. And they That's... shut them down quickly. Armor or no armor, a headshot from that blade storm yeah, means you can't do anything death. With that. It's gonna hurt. In the end, four rounds down, the Saints yet to really figure out what they want to do on this attacking side. Mm -hmm. Yep, going to see the lineup coming in for the side of Saints with that Sova Dart. Sushi going in. A lot of stuff going on. Oh, Hunter's Fury. Back from one side, returned from the side of Grim. See if he's able to tag anyone up there. I don't think he actually touched anyone. All four Saints sitting at full health. That Killjoy ultimate is going to give them you know, eight uncontested seconds after that plant comes down as well. Give them a lot of space to work with. 16 health on Gone. That's an easy nice pick job, for Seth. Seth. He's able to move back out of that window. Start playing a little tricky around here. Time is of the essence. You have to make this push eventually. Yeah. Seth, if you're able to find one and even just get mm. traded out here, not able to find the first one. Gets too preoccupied with that player on the right. Lazy Pig from afar shuts it down. But it's a save that Rochester is going to be working with here. Don't want to waste that economy, that valuable cash that they've got. And they have more than enough of a lead to be able to soak one save round with three players. Yeah, they're willing to give up that round just to kind of salvage their economy for this round coming up here. Yeah, they're, they're doing okay. Because... If they went full out, they potentially lose that round. Get the the minus on the on the on the money on the uh, investments coming back. But now they have full buy. Yum back on the op for C site. Not going to be on the right side though, unfortunately. Saints looking for an A push here. But full buys, one light armor on four tapping. We'll see how it goes. Yeah, they have. They have resources to work with, to say the least, mm -hmm. but only one ultimate. You're really relying on just your oh, yeah. stock standard utility to get down here. M's, nice little 360. I like the 360 with the drone to just clear those close corners. I, I, I think that's Some way more points. valuable than trying to just send it up there and hope you can find somebody like on the right. Now M's could realistically move up sewers and not be too, too concerned, but he does know that that Killjoy turret is there, so mm -hmm. he's going to have to... Keep that in mind for his initial swing. Yeah, a lot of util holding Cover down sewers um, on the side of Gone. But Sushi with a good kill on Gone. One for one. Two down. Planted. From the side of Rochester, Lazy Pig. In the post He's point. outside here, and this He's is a in. far rotation. You talked about the utility from that Killjoy, but realistically, it was one turret and a nano swarm, and now it's all gone in the end as that first pick. Man, that Killjoy out of the round in Rochester, and... finding themselves in another save position because they do not want to risk it. I mean, considering they didn't risk the 3v3, yeah. not surprised that they're not going for this 5v3 here. And Yum's got an op at the same time. So, like, mm -hmm. you don't want to lose that as well. That's, yeah, that's a huge... I mean, that's a big step up from a 2,900 rifle right there. Yeah. It's a quick $1,800 more credits more. Quick maths. Yeah, but now as we're uh, getting pretty deep into this half, we're eight rounds down, about to hit round nine here. And, you know, we've seen Rochester have absolute dominant rounds, and most of the ones that the Saints have won kind of been Secure Rochester, saves. you know, saving the, them out. They won the one round with straight yeah. eliminations, and other than that, they're pretty much just allowing these saves to happen for the sake of their own economy. But because of all of that, look at yeah. where the Saints have kind of built themselves up to. You've got three players here at the top of the scoreboard sitting over 4,000 credits. And 
this is not so far away of a half anymore. Yeah, the St. Clair definitely has the chance to bring it back. Going to see though. Just kind of sneaking through Cubby. Trying to avoid some shots. Gets blinded. Dizzy's up too. And we should see Sushi taking some space here. Sushi, he likes to play this same spot. Super close. Can he shut down Hernando? Hernando on the C site has been your C side what? superstar this game. Two or three kills every single time he plays that same close setup in the smoke. And the Saints oh, no. have yet to just be able Three. to deal with it by any means. He's at one singular health point. 3K, one health, no problem. No He's problem. like, I That's got That's easy this. for Hernando. I got, this. I got this, no problem, don't worry about it. Six to three in this first half. You know, we saw exactly how that last map played out with Rochester being able to take the half eight, four. Now, or seven, five, mm -hmm. apologies, now. Rochester is consistently looking for this 8-4 right now. I think that's what realistically they're probably expecting. Probably Just happen. looking at the economies and everything, they know they can squeak out more buys should they lose a round. And yeah. Saints really just have to win this out. You have to try and tie this up. Yep, going to be making another C push. You usually see a jump peek out of that where the Ash are standing. You usually get a jump peek to just kind of get some vision, but... Saints are flying through here right now. And finally using this utility to deal with those smokes. You saw the Nano Swarm in there. It's you saw Mosh Pit in the back corner. Now Thrash is going to come out, maybe shut down somebody in this garage. Did they actually spot out the Omen in there? I definitely want to know. Seth finds one. Hernando trades that back. Yeah. Now we've got the post plan. Caillou missing the Thrash, but... Would have had to hurt the shots, but now they're getting sandwiched. M's got to hold it down the fort. Gets taken down, though. Sushi in a 1v3, just getting tagged through the box. Nice taps nice. to come through from Sushi. Doesn't want to get spotted out by this sonar dart. There's only one on site, but he's got an operator. He's holding that down. Grim gets the defuse. Hunter Fury close to, if not online. Now, you've secured the seven. You've secured a winning half for yourself, Rochester. You can be pretty comfortable moving forward. Still want to try and push that 9-3, of course. Yeah, this is the, dare I say it, potential 9-3 coming through here. Saints still have a full buy coming through. Wasn't really sure about their economy the last round, but they're pulling out They're pulling out the guns this round. There were a few players that had cash. Like, I was just... A little bit. I just... I think if they lost too many players and won that round, mm. then they would have been in a tough situation. The loss bonus is definitely helping them out right now. Yeah, for sure. Only being... Securing three rounds here. They're struggling a little bit. Nice smoke by Yum, just to kind of avoid that recon dart from him. But... Looking at a mid push, potentially, just kind of trying to get some info out of here from M's with the recon. Or the drone, sorry, recon drone. But just playing slow, taking their time. Yeah, utility based yeah. game nowadays, as much as they like to, as much as Valorant likes to claim the gunplay is uh, the main focus, let's be honest here. It's about how many how many different corners can you throw concussions and flashes into? How much intel can you get? Who can you mm -hmm. spot out? Who can you just straight up give your team walls to? Like, pretty much. Like, that's, that's pretty much how these fights shake out. Sushi dashing in there, finds one on the left, keeps it moving. Hernando's gonna fall as well. Bladestorm insta popped. Sushi looking to pop off as Seth continues the kills, keeps them going. 1v5 now for Yum, operator in hand. Really fine, even one. Peppered through the wall, has to try and make this swing, but he's gonna get shut down eventually. A flawless well from done. the side of the Saints to secure themselves at the very least an 8-4 half, but you're looking for that 7-5. You did it last game and it worked out so, so well for you. If you can make it 7-5 and move on to that defensive side, yeah, we have seen the those. Saints have defensive halves on Haven that are like 10-2, 11-1. Yeah, I mean, yeah, even right now, we saw how easy Rochester mm -hmm. has found this defensive side. The Saints, every round they found, even those two saves, they had to work for those. They had yeah. to get very, very solid picks and get a, a post-plant setup that was so solid that Rochester straight up decided it is not worth it for us. We are backing off. 
but you gotta work for that. Rochester not letting them do it. This is just an absolute. This is what I'm talking about. You're trying to tell me this game's about gunplay. Gone red that Sushi would dash on top of the box. Yeah. And had a grenade. And had a nano swarm ready there. It's just mind huh? games with utility right now. Not to mention, you saw the mosh pit in the corner, the double nanos on site, a couple Astra smokes. Crazy. And some people wonder why this game is an observer's nightmare. Shout out to Tommy holding it down in the back for oh, now. Right. Dizzy pops out. That aftershock well I combo is going to be big. Caillou gets shut down. M says Reed. Once again, we see Utility grab another kill. Four tapping. Shuts down two from Long. Yum Ooh. with the flick. He pops the Blade Storm. Is he going to be able to tap out oh, one? Tap out two. Up, the post plant is tough to play against. Seven to five. Going to be your final score this half. This is, uh, this is giving me a little bit of deja vu here towards that map one. Yeah, I'm really I'm really looking forward to the St. Clair defense side. Just going off of yesterday, what was it, a 10-2 half that they had on defense? Strong, strong half on Haven, yeah. They, and, did. and they didn't have a hard time. I think it was a 13-3 game 13 on that Haven. So right now, Rochester, I mean, they have found more rounds on their Haven than you know a lot of teams mm -hmm. ever do against the Saints. This is a very strong map for the Saints. So now we're going to have to see what they can cook up on this defense. And we're kind of in a situation again where you need to win this pistol round. You need to try and tie it up 7-7. Right there. Yeah, and the Saints playing nice and close. Sushi and Caillou right up B. And it looks like they're going to take a fight. And they're moving forward. They're, they're taking the space that they want. Kind of suffocating Rochester into a main here. Look at Sushi. Look, he's already on the flank and like super close. Actually, very, very close. He can't move any faster at the risk of being exposed. But if he peeks long at the right time, oh, he's holding that trigger. Look at him moving forward. Sushi move. with two in the back line. He's going to make alive. it out alive as well. And look at the collapse on Long as he finds all five players for tapping in M's, following up on Sushi's play and a the flawless pistol round to start off the half for themselves. Three site map attack sighted. Try and change my mind. Try and change my mind, because that just happened. The amount of space that Sushi took in the first 10 seconds, 10 seconds, led to that flawless victory in that round. Yeah, just no. I'm still convinced that this map is not a three sided map, because let's be honest, does B really exist? Does B exist as a site? It's a rotation point. And, Very and true. it gets planted there twice a game. Yeah, it's kind of, that's, that's pretty much what it feels like. But at the same time, you know, some teams will prioritize mid control on this map. Try to yeah. get to B, try to rotate out through there. Other teams on defense like the Saints are just going to allow their utility to cover that and hunker down more towards whether you have the third player on that C site or the third player towards that A side. It's just going to mean one site is just a little extra for tapping. The turret Dirt finds one. The sheriff finds another. The picks Shut keep up, Dizzy. coming. Dizzy starts to shoot out some blinds. Not going to be able to land much, but Sushi Look from the, the window, he's hole. in. Paranoid's going to come through another flawless just keep um going sushi dashing left right and center this is what i really love this aggressiveness coming out of the saints taking first two rounds of the defense side tying up the game once again but now we're going to see ems on the aries he loves that odin too and i know i guarantee that we will see an odin on ems on defense side haven 100 percent he's and, going and he's up a, a long but i'm i want to see him in that garage area eventually garage a heaven that's where he's gonna be i'm Although telling this, you when that garage setup through. is looking mean should any of these rochester members try to go through grass but they're sending it straight b once again it's exactly what i'm talking about the one out of the 25 space. rounds where we're gonna see a b plant caillou finds one down mid hernando trades that one back out with the better of the weaponry 
This is where Saints are going to have a tough time trying to get these fights through, but with Seth is Spectre? doming kids with these Spectres. Running back and forth, he's finding the dinks, he's finding the taps. Yum in the backside. He's sitting a link. He's going to fall. Lazy Pig in the back of the site in a 1v2. He tosses that aftershock, and Seth has been making this creep around the whole time. A two-pronged approach from Seth and Ems. He's going to shut that down. This, look, I know I say, this is the most important round. This is the most important round. That, that was a was huge, huge round for the Saints because that was their third round. Third after bonus. winning that pistol, three straight off of the half. This means Rochester, you're pretty well soaking another eco round. Easily can make this 9-7. Yeah, I wonder how they're squeaking out guns here. Light armor for sure, but... There's no way they're going to have a consistent buy throughout their whole team. Yeah, there it is. There yeah. it is. Sell it back up, Gon. Gon might have a little bit of cash to his name, but you really yeah. need to play for the future there. And now, Saints, you get to rebuy up. You've put your economy in such an amazing position, and you've grabbed the lead in this game, a game that you have yet to have the lead in ever. Yeah. Saints kind of leaving this B-side open, but they're taking the fast rotate to A, kind of. Spike planted at B, just kind of taking the space, kind of putting a little chokehold. I really like this spot out of Yum, although he does have the Spectre, but you will guarantee a headshot with the Spectre. Gets the two-piece. Quick Ooh, little stinger plays right there. Two-piece upgrades the weaponry, and this eco round suddenly flipped on its head. It's going to be up to Caillou and Seth to try and shut this down, but you're trying to play post-plant against uh. an Odin. It's going to come back to bite you. That yeah. Odin that Ems picked up, going to shut down the round from Hernando, tied up by Rochester. Yeah, and that's the real problem with buying an Odin. It's insanely good on defense side right but right when there. you take the initial peak right going a main up to heaven or up to a site to go plant the bomb of course you have an odin shooting at at heaven you're not getting peaked you're not getting peaked because you just swipe back and forth with your mouse it's a little bit cover all bases and you're getting you 40 50 damage guaranteed no i can agree with you there seth Finds the first pick. That was going to be down. See Long. Look at him. Three health after that initial peak. Keeps getting dashed in. Caillou shuts down nice Yum. I think that was a Blade Storm as well that was shut down, if I'm not mistaken. Look at this Odin from long range. Hernando through the dark cover. Don't <laughs> stop the spray. Reload it back up, but check out his ammo count. He doesn't have too, too much left. Yeah, 130 it. bullets. It might seem like a lot, but in an Odin, that's... uh. That's not too, too much to work with considering you got, I think, 400 to start the round with? Or th yeah. three to 400. I think it's 300. You have like three clips, essentially. Yeah. And Caillou holding the flank. <laughs> secures one. How? Dizzy's out. He's going to... He's. I was going to say, he's going to blind the Sova that's in heaven. There's the way they're but. playing this out. Saints, obviously, yes, you had all the money to make this buy happen and once again. Yeah. So you're not concerned about that. You weren't concerned from the starting of the round. Now you've shut down Hernando's Odin. Grim is just... M's got it back. M's got it back. He, I think he had his own because he killed Hernando with... Right an, again? He killed oh. Hernando with an Odin, which means... Look at this. Or, or he had to have rebought up for himself. Seth, three health, still makes it alive all the way to the end of this round Crazy. somehow. Saints take back the lead. Rochester, they had an amazing round previously, and I think it just got a little bit to them, right? They mm -hmm. flooded out B, and it worked out so well for them. They thought they could do the same thing B C, but the only reason your B floods are working is because the Saints don't have a player playing B. They have mm -hmm. utility, and that's it. You're able to shut down utility very easily and get that plant down. But now the Saints, they've started to realize that this B hit is kind of what Rochester likes to do, especially on Ecos. You've got two players ready and waiting to shut this down. And Caillou and Seth are right there for it. Keep it going. Going with Dizzy, Hunter's Fury from the long Two. range. Double with the Hunter's Fury. Not able to tag up the third, but I mean, the One value eight. has already been long secured from that ultimate. And going against, shout out Wingman. 
Look Get him. Guy. Listen to the sounds, too. He's just hustling over there. Like, is it, He's getting his build 35. He's hustling. He's just the boy. He's like, like, it's similar to say, like, from League, like, the meeps that Bard has, the little chimes that follow him around and everything. <laughs> yeah. Or, like, Poros. Like, yeah, yeah. Riot just has this thing with making these little they characters know, that you can't help but, like, like I just want to dap up Wingman. Is, yeah. that, is that so bad? Like, Bro, if they come out with a Wingman plushie, that's Instacop. That's for sure. Instacop. Instacop. That is, that is, yeah, that is a very quick purchase, yeah. to say the least. Bro, but the, I have a feeling they're going to do a bundle pack and you can get all four. And it's going to be $150. And I'm going to be okay <laughs> with buying it. That's a problem. I wouldn't be surprised. That's a nice pick from That's Sushi to start off the round. Here's that alt point. Quick little swing. Hernando waiting for the peak from up top once again. Sushi not ready to give it. He's taken to the floors. Fresh coming through. He's taken back to the ground. Yum. Detained. He's attained up by Thrash, but they can't push forward as there's another player there. Yum. He makes it out of the detain in time. He resets the dash as well. Pop it forward. He's onto the site. He's into his own Cloudburst. Ems. They don't know that Ems is the player playing here on Heaven, though. Not only that. But yes, they've made it onto the site. You have to wait for your spike to come through. Sushi has an updraft ready. He could try and fly upwards. Oh, he's going to. Maybe. But do you need two updrafts for that, if I'm not mistaken? Yeah. Uh, he's not going to be able to find much. You really got to time that one out well. M shut down in oh. heaven from a nice headshot from Gone. That first spray, not going to hit Gone. Not going to give the aim punch that you're looking for. Shut down the spike planter with the blade storm. 1v1. One one. 30 seconds 30 to seconds play, left. Spike is down, four Ooh. tapping is going to be the one to take that clutch. Damn. What a play out of the Saints. Four tapping, coming in clutch in the, 1v, the technical 1v2 at the end there. Doing a great job. Rochester kind of a little bit in shambles here Falling with the short Derek in the second halves. So. And it's not that, I don't even want to say that they're being like, yeah, their strategies or anything aren't being outmatched. It's just by the time they make it to the site, they're always down two players, mm -hmm. if not more. That round seemed to be the exception as Yum made it onto site and he was able to take down two himself. But Yum was just too fast for his own team in that sense. Yep. He had to wait for the rotation and it just allowed the Saints to be on the exact same timing for mm -hmm. said rotation. Yeah, just when you're playing Jet, it's fly, go, whatever you need. Mm -hmm. Just go. And he's going a little too far, creating some overextensions and just kind of just kind of falling. I mean, I no, I like his plays. You find yeah, like two really picks good. on the A side, push towards A, 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 A. I'd be thinking the exact same thing. Mm -hmm. But the only question is when your team has been setting up for like a, a garage B slash C push for the yeah, entire like round, you need to wait for them. Like, and he makes the space towards that site, but he didn't clear out heaven. He kind of allowed Sushi this, and, yeah, and four just, tapping, I think was that other last player there yeah. playing off of site. He's just letting them set up, letting them continue. We do have a bit of a technical pause here as well, it seems. Match is going to be paused up. We'll get your update. All right, ready's. Freddy's being thrown around, seems like, uh, you know, whether it be a mouse, whatever it was this time. It's nice and swift. Ping legs in right. Yeah, ping legs in and out. Okay, so a little bit of a network network error. What are you going to do? Some. The one thing I do want to see on Haven, because be I'm a Fade main, I would like to see someone play Fade at some point. Yeah, I mean, the Fade raise combo is really, really popular on Haven for a mm -hmm. bit. I mean, we even saw the Saints run it with uh, Caillou back when... Borge was a, a stalwart member yep. here on the varsity back when he was going to be, or, or was their duelist, their main duelist. Yep. And I mean, you saw their, the prime clip was just the the the, the grenade the string combo with the grenade. Yeah, I'm not actually sure what Fades is oh, called. Yum is in there finding a nice little three. two three piece for himself. Wingman, shout out Wingman on the site, but Yum oh. keeps it going. M's. The only one left. He's able to pick back Gone. But that round was torn apart by the side of Rochester and Yum alone. Finding three picks. That's the beauty of the duelist right there. That's the beauty of the Odin is that you get to keep spraying. There's too many players to deal with. Lazy Pig finishes that one off. A great trade up onto Yum from up top. 
Now you're only two rounds away. Saints, you really want to find one of these next two. You just want to push it to that to. match point, right? That's all you're looking for at this point. Yeah, although I will state that Yum, enemy of the state, absolutely doing that dirty work to wingmen. We don't appreciate that on the broadcast. <laughs> Listen, we, we love wingmen around here. You don't Can't do that. Wing I mean, for what, too? Yeah, you, you get stunned and... Don't worry about it. Just go yeah, hide. You just, you just take that concussion. Come on, man. Get out of my way. <laughs> Standing ahead. <laughs> yeah, I, I couldn't do it. I couldn't hurt Wingman. Caillou, clearly, he, he's got a vendetta up against Yum there. Oh. Sushi in the long range. Shuts down one. Shuts turret. down the turret. Waiting for the second Hernando. Nice. How are you finding those shots up against an operator? That is my question. He was waiting for that repeak for years. Yeah, I do think Seth TP'd to go pick up that op as well, so he might, they might still have it. It looks, he's holding a long angle. Yeah, that better I be an op in his it. hands. If he's got that crisp one tap to do it, I mean, go nuts, but that's a hard task to take. But Rochester looking towards Garage as they were kind of a little bit shut down, plus they got M's with the Odin just doing his thing. So slow play to see. But Seth, yeah, I see, I see, I see the oh, line. See He's got scope. that up. He's got that up. It looks like Window is actually going to be the play here. Caillou can't get that spray transfer. Hernando, you have to find the shot. But Ems, he's got the oh, brrr brrr there with the Odin. Yeah, he's like, that's me. I'm him. That's me. I am Himothy. I have the gun that is overpowered like crazy. But it's fine. We won the round. Now we're on match point. Match point for the Saints, three rounds up. You've got essentially two rounds of insurance here for yourself before overtime is secured by Rochester. And that's what Rochester is playing for here. They need to make that overtime happen. Yep. This is your C-Val top eight run on the line. Saints looking to punch through with a 2-0. Yep, fast B hit coming through again. This is what works for Rochester in the past. It's the only thing that's really worked for them on their attacking side. Yeah, it's really been like their their lone success going mm -hmm. through this map. Four tapping is, is almost slips by with the drone, but they've, unfortunately they've actually got ultimates to work with this time. So I, I'm much more confident in this B hit as well because it's been shut down before by the Saints, but I think Detain. two out of three times it's worked for Rochester. However, look at Yum up top. Yum, nobody has spotted him out just yet. Yum drops down, he finds one. Operator shots going back, but Yum keeping it alive. Trigger discipline is the name of the game. And with a 3K, with a nice, nice ninja level play there up top, he's able to save the game for everyone. For Rochester, try to bring it into overtime. You're only looking at two more rounds. Saints with a check questionable buy here. Check your corners. Check your corners 100%, but check out this buy. Two Odins, an operator, Hold and on. then you've got the two players who had no cash to work with, and they said, okay, Judge okay, and Marshall. Caillou waiting for a peak long C here, seeing if he can find maybe a one tap to deal with it. The thing is, you see good. Caillou with that Marshall, basically an op. Yeah, essentially an op, as long as uh, he's feeling like a crack shot on the mm -hmm. day. And look at the rotations coming out of Saint th Saints, thinking it's C. Let a little do they know. That spike has been C for a Going long time. A. That is a big pick to actually find back, though. You're mm -hmm. able to trade one for one. Now, the, the numbers are essentially evened out. No, you don't have, like, say, a heal for Caillou or anything, but you do have a Hunter's Fury to shut down one. The spike was planted, but the player advantage over towards the Saints. And there he goes. As I was saying before, M's ooh, ooh. Up top heaven with the Odin. Let's see what he can do. I know he likes to spam through the floor. Well, look at him. Through the, through the going, floor. Lazy pig on the site, holding it down from Sewers. There's only one nice player left. Fernando. We're in a 1v1 for the game on, on the line. The series on the line. Match point. Sushi's got 20 health to work with, but no time. Hernando the with the jump peaks. You have to make something happen oh, here, Sushi. Nice the clutch gosh. from Hernando. 12 to 11. There's one round to go. Are we going to see overtime, or are we going to see a 13-11 to 0? 
3-0 Saints victory to push them forward into C Val semifinals. Yeah, wonderful plays out of Rochester to get that through. Saints with the great re like a great retake, but at the end of the day when Sushi's only got 20 30 health against a fully healthy doing fine Astra also or in Hernando. post plant, right? And Hernando yeah, and doesn't. In post plant too. Hernando does not have to peek he out by not. any means. No. You saw him doing the shallowest jump peek just a possible, just to you know maybe bait out a shot or two, three kills immediately from these bulldogs. Caillou with Ooh. two. Seth finds one down mid. What is happening right now? We're trying to we're trying to figure out what even happened last round. And Saints decide they are done with this game. But maybe not yet, not if Gone and Grim have anything There's to say info. about it. The doof doof! Do it to him, do it to him! Doof! Let's go! That's gonna finish off the game. That's gonna finish off the series 2-0 for your Saints varsity here. Moving on in this C Val bracket. <laughs> that is you can't help but smile at the end there when yeah, you see the you doof love doof the judge. You to love finish the judge. it off. Yeah, beautiful job by Saints. Rochester giving them a good run as well. No, oh two. Two rounds, one extra kill from mm -hmm. from a player or two there, and that entire game flips on its head. But yeah. we saw it in the first map. We then saw it in the second there. Mm -hmm. Apparently, second half Saints are just something to not be messed with. You try and convince me. I'm looking at all you people try at home. <laughs> try to convince Ryan attack that side, is the attack is, side is attack on three yeah. side maps is broken. You tell you try and convince me now. It's true. Once I mean, once you get five players playing on like such a you know in such a tight you yeah. know synchronous play style, mm -hmm. it's tough to crack through that defense. Especially I, I you know we pointed out this mm -hmm. few times in game. I really like the Saints' decision of just leave utility B and allow B open, mm -hmm. and it just makes your A and C that much stronger. And then if B really does come through, you get to make a retake, and the Saints won those B retakes probably 25% of the time, yeah. which is not that bad considering you're playing into a, a 3v5, a 4v5. Yeah, they, they did a really good job. They they kind of left B open. They're like, okay, you can have it. We, mm -hmm. we, know, we know the retakes. We know what we need to do. Obviously, when you're playing top tier, like Rochester, they're obviously going to give them a run for their money when they kind of give them that. Anyone in this bracket, they're, really. They're like, all right, you're going to give it to me. All right, I'm going to take it, and then I'm going to shut you out. But, like, it's constant battle, constant battle. But mm -hmm. Saints going to be taking the win. Going, moving into that, it was top eight you were saying. Moving into this top was eight. top eight, so they should oh, be moving into, into top, top four, four essentially that semifinals okay. of this one. We've they made the run, mm -hmm. and it's a big contrast into you know being knocked out in that round of sixteen. Yeah, Previously, last... these guys got to be in high spirits about that one, but it's not mm -hmm. over yet. Believe we have more Seaval action for you guys tomorrow, if I'm mm -hmm. not mistaken. There, more than likely, it seems yeah, so. It could be picked up by another stream, but if not. We'll see you right around here, 3 to 4 p.m., depending on those match times. And yeah. other than that, we've had a great day of broadcasting here. We've got mm -hmm. two different sets of casters on, yeah, two yeah. different games. Ryan, thank you for joining me for oh, some Valorant for here sure. and what a match it was. Mm -hmm. Two amazing comeback wins there from the Saints to end it into a 2-0 yep. in the series. They're going to be moving on to those semifinals of Seaval. We will catch you with all the action tomorrow.